hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this particle disintegration animation inside of after effects with the help of our favorite plugin trap code particular so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll call it as main and mission like this, weight is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 20 seconds and background color is white color and simply hit ok. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection to get this kind of grid. Then you can select your text or instead of text you can add your logo also but right now I'm going to stick with the text only. So I'm going to type one text over here like motion, hit control A, I'm going to select black color for this text. Let's increase the size and put the distance between font, I'm gonna make it let's say minus 15 maybe, okay. Select this text, press control alt home to align that anchor point to the center, go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically, press S and increase the scale somewhere around like this. Go to the character menu and instead of fully black, I am going to choose some grayish color. Okay, then select this text, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Select this second text, I am going to delete this fill. I am going to select this stroke and select this. Let's move this over here and move this over here and stroke width. I am going to choose let's say 1 pixels maybe. Okay, then press Ctrl Y on your keyboard to create one sub background and for the color I am going to choose not pure white but somewhere around like this and hit OK and hit OK and let's bring this downwards and let's lock this layer. Ok so this is gonna be my text and I think this looks quite we need a little bit of darker version of it ok. Now uh, then select the board the text and press Ctrl Shift C to create a pre comp and let's call it as text layer and hit ok press f4 and click on this 3d icon double click to open this and also convert them into 3d like this okay now right now we need to create certain animations over here so i'm going to select my rectangle tool first and i'm going to create one rectangle over here like this size okay then select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center first then select your pen behind tool and by holding control I'll snap this anchor point at the edge of it like this. Now select the shape layer press P initially let's move this over here create one keyframe go to around 4 seconds press V and let's move this totally up to here. Ok then select the shape layer again hit ctrl D to duplicate it hit U uh, and or instead of that you can simply with the help of this you can increase the size of it like this because anchor point is over here so we can easily adjust that and if you want to know the difference between them you can change the color of this layers okay so this is only for our emissions and this one to hide our text so what we are gonna do now select this text layer and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's bring this at the top okay like this now let's go to the start let's hide these two layers first press f4 to, I mean you to hide all of them now select this layer first press f4 and let's convert uh, go to the track mat and I'm going to choose alpha mat so this will cover this much portion now enable this text layer 2 and choose alpha inverted mat so now along with this this is gonna hide this text okay so select this and this press ctrl shift c I'm going to type source for this composition select this and this press ctrl shift c i'll call it as hide because this is gonna hide so and bring this layer downwards press f4 select this source layer and convert this into 3d layer okay so this is done now now we need to add our particular plugin so first of all press ctrl y to create a solid background i'll call it as particular and hit ok go to the effect and presets panel and search for particular effect and double click to apply uh, and if you hit play we will get this particle emissions over here so now we will adjust the settings of it so uh, was this properly go to the emitter first we are not gonna change uh, emitter behavior particle seconds I'm going to increase 30 over here and hit enter 
so as you guys can see so much particles are emitting now and then we will go to somewhere around emitter type and instead of point i am going to choose layer then we will get this layer emitter option simply enable it and we will choose this source so now this what will happen is that this is gonna start emitting particles from this layer okay so this uh, this effect will consider the source layer as a source of the particle emissions and now let's go to the particular and let's increase a one zero extra so it will give this error but the, this is the maximum number of particles they can emit from here and now what we need to do we will go double click to open this hide hit u we will select those keyframes we will hit page down button three times and let's move this thing over here so now it will start to animate a little bit later and go to the height let's move this uh, one keyframe backward and let's see like this okay so uh, let's move this again one keyframe backward and let's see okay so uh, select this uh, particular effect and let's go to the particle particle settings uh, and before that let's go to the velocity distribution let's make it 50 like this and velocity random 100 uh, and emitter size should be 0 so we will get this kind of disintegration effect over here like this then uh, we will go to the particles so we need to create some uh, settings for this particle so first of all particle feather should be 0 life second i'm going to choose three seconds only and size random let's make this 100 because i want to randomize size for each and every one uh, and there is another thing we need to do that simply double click to source this layer go inside this text layer and this second text over here what i'm gonna do i'll go to the character menu and over here if you see I'm, i have choose only black color so what i'm gonna do along with this black stroke i'm going to click on this fill and i'll choose white color also so if I see over here, I'll get this uh, what we call black color and white color particles along with this. Okay, so after that, uh, this is for particle settings and then uh, we need to go to the particle size overlap and in presets, I'm going to choose the second presets. So we will get this kind of stuff and life second, let's try to increase it up to four. So it will stick a little bit of extra now we will go to the auxiliary system not auxiliary system sorry uh, we need to go inside this physics and we are not going to change any values over here let's go simply to the air and let's go to the turbulence field now turbulence size i'm going to choose 50 so it will affect the size on this size of this particles as you guys can see we will get this kind of uh, size uh, variations let's choose quarter resolution so it will run a little bit faster like this okay and you can choose half resolution so you can see properly and let's change affect the position value and let's make this 100 let's see and let's play it from the start so we will get this kind of effect okay and let's change that time factor to 1 okay uh, and if you scale this to 15 let's see or let's make it 5 or I think 112 may look good to me okay and of the scale let's try to 5 or let's say point one. I think 6 looks quite weird so let's 2 okay so we'll get something like this and you can adjust the wind properties also so over here here i'm going to choose let's say 200 maybe and let's see we will get this kind of wind effect and let's increase the spin frequency to 4 spin amplitude also 4 
okay so spleen amplitude is 20 spleen frequency let's try to increase this value and let's see what we will get okay so this looks good so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this and if you want then you can change the position also so we will get a little bit of extra animation over here also and let's make this scale 8 like this and position let's make it 150 okay so if i see this animation from the start i'll get this kind of particle disintegration effect and then uh, after this let's make this full resolution and let's see we'll get something like this and if you want uh, then you can increase the size of this particles also like let's go to the particles and if i increase the size up to let's say seven we'll get quite a different results like over here also you get different results okay and also increase the size random and now uh, let's go to the text layer let's select this text and let's still try to select a little bit of this color and let's see so particle colors are also going to change and now uh, we will go to the shading options so over here and we need, will enable this shadings and let's see what we will get we will get a little bit of shades over here also like this let's try to own this okay let's uh, off this we will stick to this one only so we will get a little bit of shades over here and if you want then you can skip this portion also because this looks quite weird to me personally and if you want if you want the shading stuff you can simply select this and go to the effect and presets panel and you can simply search for drop shadow effect also you will get some drop shadows over here let's simply increase the softness of it and for the color i'm going to choose this white color only but let's go over here and we will choose a little bit of darker version of that color so we will get a bit very little shadow over here like this but uh, i would not recommend to apply that because uh, if you see over here we will get a little bit of shadow over here also so let's hide this for now okay so this is how you can create particle disintegration effect inside of after effects with the help of trap code particular so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this, then check out these two videos. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay tuned.